today I'm gonna be doing my makeup like a TikTok star. Her name is Hannah Kim or Anna Kim. I don't know which whichever one. I think it's Hannah Kim though. She's really pretty and her makeup is really gorgeous. I have no reason to be putting on makeup and no reason to be dressing up like her or doing my makeup like her other than the fact that I just want to and I have nothing else to do. Also, it has been a while since I have filmed like talk talking to a camera. So um I like forget how to do that. So sorry if it's awkward. <laughs> Okay, Hannah's makeup is very sultry, it's very seductive, very sexy if I can say. I hate that word, but it really is. I just discovered that she's 17, so I'm taking that last word away because I ain't no predator. Okay, thank you. She has the whole like faux freckle look going on with very tan skin as well as winged eyeliner, but in a very um, smoky way. I tried to like search up online how she does her makeup and I couldn't find anything. So I'm really just basing myself off of these pictures right here. So if I get anything wrong, I'm really sorry. This is just my personal interpretation of her makeup look and I am not a professional. I'm just doing this for fun, so yeah. Okay, we're gonna start off with the skin. It doesn't seem like she is a fan of the glowy skin. I could be wrong, but in all of her pictures and TikToks, it kind of seems like she's going more for the matte look. I don't know if it's intentional. That's what I'm getting. So in her pictures, you can always see a lot of like real skin peeking through which makes me think that she either only uses concealer or she wears a tinted moisturizer i'm going to do the tinted moisturizer just because i prefer doing it that way i'm using the laura mercier tinted moisturizer we're just gonna start off with a light coat of this and like i said since you can see that her skin is peeking through Working in layers is really important because that's how you get the most natural and blended look. How you guys been? <laughs> I feel so weird filming. That's what happens when I don't like film in a while. I pre-filmed some videos because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to film for a while. And I also forget, forget how to edit. If I don't edit for like more than a week, I forget how to do it. So now I'm like in the process of editing it. The video that went up like... I guess last week and it's such a struggle oh my god next i'm going to be doing a little bit of concealer not too much but mostly under my eyes because i have really bad under eye circles like even when i cover them you can still see the deepness of it like you can only cover up so much like if there's like a significant like crease it's not gonna go away with concealer but yeah eye bags are fashion henna skin is like really flawless I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing something right. Now I'm going to do a step that I don't know if she does, but I definitely need for this look. I'm gonna be cream contouring. And the reason why I'm using cream contour and like not a powder is because it's much easier. Oh, sorry. It's much easier to make things look like they're naturally contour with a cream rather than a powder. You can build it and work in layers. And that's what I like about the cream contour. I'm using the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in the shade Light. I'm mostly using this middle shade right here. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see, but I think it's like an in-between of a warm and cool tone shade, so it's good for shaping things. And with the stippling brush, I find it's just the easiest way to make things look smooth and to blend it out too because the contour is like pretty inconsistent. It's it's not easy to blend. Let's just put it that way. So I'm gonna start by carving out some cheekbones and just making them look deeper. And I work in like small circles and I also kind of stipple it on. Like I said, I don't have my glasses, but you kind of want to try to keep the contour pretty high up and not bring it too low. With the remaining product, just go ahead and put it on your forehead as well. You're just trying to shape her face, make it look more snatch and slim. Of course, I'm going to be putting quite a bit right here trying to get rid of that double chin and i'm just trying to carve myself a much sharper jawline honestly her face makeup apart from the freckles is not really what makes her look it's really her eye look it's so pretty like it makes her eyes so like mysterious and i don't know she's so pretty <laughs> 
I wonder how long it takes her to like get ready. I tried this look already twice because I wanted to like make it perfect and both times it took me like around an hour so i would not do this every day but i was going to finish the sentence but then i just kind of forgot and now i don't know what to say i have the memory of a goldfish so okay now that i have done my face contour i'm going to be working on the nose contour what i've noticed about her full freckle look is that her nose area almost seems like really dirty i made a video about how i do my current faux freckle look and hers is very different so mine is all about looking like fresh youthful almost like it's natural but like kind of fake hers is like very worn in it's like it looks very very realistic and what i think makes it look so realistic is the different of tones around her cheek area as well as the fact that her nose almost kind of looks dirty but in a good way and that's what makes this whole thing really believable i also believe that she works in layers or maybe it's not her intention but it really looks like that's what she's doing and even the blush that she uses she really only like uses this like uses this <laughs> the blush she uses she only use it use it uses it <laughs> she only use it like right here i'm gonna start by contouring my nose and basically i'm gonna have a nice little layer for the full freckles to lay on how i do the nose contour i'm taking the same shade of the contour kit with the same brush i'm going to stamp it on first i'm really like drawing a pretty intense line and then after we have this i'm going to start blending out this edge right here and it's very okay if there's a little bit of brown or contour shade on the sides of the nose this contour is also going to be like the guidelines of where we want the freckles to start because her freckles also are mostly concentrated on her nose area and a tiny bit on her cheeks but they don't go anywhere else it's almost like her freckles are contouring her nose in a way for the tip of the nose i'm just gonna a little more like this i'm using my sponge to sort of blend out but i don't want to move anything too much right now i have no freaking clue what kind of blush she's using so i'm just gonna use this one this one is the wet and wild in mellow wine i'm using the same stippling brush and the reason why is because it's okay if the colors mix on your face and also because I need to be more precise with the blush application. Sorry, I'm looking at the reference picture, so I'm trying to see like where the blush ends and starts. I need my glasses. I'm an old lady. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking this so seriously. So we're gonna start almost like right here and right here. And she kind of pulls it down. It could be like her natural skin. It could be her natural like skin color peeking through i like the look of the stipple brush because even if maybe you can't see on camera in real life it really just makes it look almost like it's kind of like rosacea like just like natural skin peeking through the blush is like mostly here you don't want to overdo it because i don't think she wears that much blush i'm going to be playing with the nose a lot this is only like the first layer now i'm going to be using the freck product the freck faux freckle um little eyeliner thing if you don't have this no worries you can always try to do full freckles with a cool tone brown eyeshadow before having this what i used to do my full freckles is i would take my tartlet palette what i would do is i would mix this shade right here which is dreamer and power play because the gray makes it look very believable i'm still gonna be using this palette after you're gonna see how and i would use like an eyeliner brush like this this one is from elf and you can do small freckles you can also use a brown eyeliner a brow pencil what else can you use there was a technique i tried once which was very messy and it's to basically take a crushed a little bit of crushed contour powder with a toothbrush and then splash on the faux freckles that's also very believable but it's very messy and it kind of takes a while overall i really love this little freck thing but it is expensive <laughs> So. Okay, so remember the two lines of contour we did? We're gonna start by working off the side of them. Where there's a line of contour, you want it to be like mostly concentrated and then after we're gonna move over to like a more sparse 
freckle pattern. I have no idea if that makes any sense. Watch me and then we'll see, okay? Okay, so I've only done one side and this is the first layer because like I said, layering is key. I'm gonna be doing the same thing and I'm basically going to be leaving the bridge of my nose completely empty at first, at first, just so I can see like where most of the concentration of the freckles are. Now I'm going to bring down the freckles closer to my cheek. Okay, so when I smile, this is where the apple of my cheek starts. So I don't wanna go past that. Okay, this is where we are at. Now I'm gonna start working on the bridge of my nose and she covers pretty much the whole bridge. I'm gonna let this dry before contouring some more, applying a little more blush and then doing a second layer of freckles. In the meantime, I'm gonna be working on my brows. She has really straight brows, so I'm gonna try to do that. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. So that's gonna be the shape. Now I'm gonna fill it in, brush it out. Now I'm going to set the brow in place with my Glossier Boy Brow in clear. Now I'm back to working on the nose. I'm just retaking the same contour shade and I'm going to recontour my nose over it, but more lightly this time. I'm even going to be grabbing my Tartlet palette with this shade right here in the gray shade and really just try to make my nose look dirty. I don't know what it is, but it's really that factor I feel like makes the full freckles look so real. Now we're doing layer number two, and this time I'm gonna do my freckles bigger. I'm adding a little more blush and a tiny bit on my nose as well. Okay, now it's time to work on the eyes, which is the scary part. <laughs> we're gonna be working with a lot of black black eyeliner and black shadow. It's really important to take your time and to work again in layers because black is such an easy color to mess up. If you are not good with eyeliner and stuff like that, then try to outline everything with brown first and then add black on top. I'm using just a regular black eyeliner. So Hannah has obviously Asian eyes. When she closes her eyes, you can see the eyeliner, but when she opens her eyes, you can barely see it. You only see like the extension of the shape that she created with the black. Now, I don't have Asian eyes. I do have hooded eyes, which is gonna make this process a little different than probably how she does it. But no matter what, you're always going to see the black line that I do because when I open my eyes, you can still see a pretty significant portion of my lid. That's just how it's gonna be, so. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my eyes as usual, just a straight line, not working on the inner corner yet and not extending it. And it honestly can be super messy, it's not very important. Just don't make it too thick. I'm gonna take a smudging brush and I'm gonna start smudging it out. Before working on the wing, what I'm going to do is grab a light shade of brown and I'm gonna be going over that eyeliner base. You almost kind of wanna create a smoky eye look with the base of the black eyeliner. What I do because I am working with a small lid space because I do have small eyes as well, is I pad the product in and then after that, I'm going to start blending upward. You don't want this to take more than like your actual lash line. You want your eyelid space to still be like intact. You don't want it to have any other color on it. Okay, I think this is a good point for me to stop and start dragging out the eyeliner. But then again, when you look at her eyes, you can't really tell that she has an actual like big wing. It's really just the shape of the shadow and how it was brought into her eyes that makes it look like it, her eye shape is elongated. And I'm gonna blend it upwards. Now I'm gonna grab an eyeliner brush and my pencil liner and I'm going to transfer the product on the brush and I'm gonna work into that inner corner. We wanna do like a fierce cat eye inner corner moment. How I do it is I'm going to align the inner corner of my eye and just extend it and then bring it into that lower lash line. 
just make sure to keep that pointed inner corner uh, proportionate to like your eye shape and eye size because I've seen some people do it and it almost made their eyes look smaller and the point of this is to make them look more elongated. I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow just to set everything in place and go over everything that I did so I'm just going to grab this one right here. Now for the lower lash line, it doesn't seem like she has much shadow on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a mixture of this brown shade and this black shade and I'm going to just slightly extend the outer corner of the eye. On some of her pictures, I saw that she is actually wearing liquid eyeliner but in other pictures, it's really smoky and I can't really tell if she is. I'm pretty happy with the result that I have and honestly, I think liquid liner would just ruin this for me. I'm not gonna do it but you can obviously just go over everything. It's gonna make this look even more intense. I'm going to be curling my lashes, applying some mascara do the same thing on the other eye and then i'm gonna come back for the lips okay i finished doing the other eye next lashes lashes are really important because her lashes are super fluffy and definitely out there i'm pretty sure she wears either eyelash extensions or strip lashes i'm using the kiss 11 lashes i hate doing lashes so just so you know i'm extremely committed to this video because i was debating for a full 10 minutes whether i should do it or not i was like it's not gonna do much of a difference but let's be honest it is going to make a very big difference can't open up my glue just gonna pray god real quick so he can make this process a little easier for me really don't want to be here all night these lashes are definitely dirty and have a lot of glitter on them <laughs> to the people out there who do falsies every single day how seriously like props to you because that's not easy it's not easy. Y'all make it look easy, but it's not. Okay, I thought I was filming the lip combination, so I already did it. I used the lip liner from Milani in the shade Nude, as well as a tiny little bit of the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX in the shade Abu Dhabi. Her lips are usually very matte, and it almost seems like she's not wearing like a lip color, or if she is, it's like super blotted out. So I did the lip liner, and then a tiny little bit on the back of my hand, I put the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and then just tapped it out. You basically want to take out most of the product. Also, I said that I don't think she's wearing highlighter in most of her pictures, but she definitely has a little bit of a nose highlight going on. So I just grabbed a little bit of this ColourPop Launch Money Super Cheek, Super Shock Cheek highlighter and I dotted on the tip of my nose. That's pretty much it for the makeup look. This is the dollar store version of her makeup look. Now we're moving on to hair. Her hair is like very messy, effortless. It's really pretty. It's not straight, but it's not wavy. It's just an in-between kind of like, I woke up like this. I also believe that she has some sort of like side bangs going on because she seems to be like putting them away and like curling them like away from her face. I'm going to just curl these two front pieces right here just so I can have like a little more, a little more of a shape going on right here. Okay, I tried to curl my hair, but it didn't work. I'm just gonna do this little zhuzhing action. Okay, and I believe that's the best that it's gonna get. Okay, so that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.